What's up guys, it's Bannikin Isaac here. My glasses are uh, fogged up, so I put them on top of my head. My hair is all messed up now because of it. But uh, today, I went and tried to get a hold of the guy, do my pond, and I just couldn't get a hold of him. Can't get a hold of him through Facebook Messenger or phone call or anything, so I am out looking for more people. And I got a couple people, I got a couple numbers, I'm gonna call tomorrow. And we should be getting our pond in the next week or so. Uh, I did get a hold of 811, Ohio, um, let me see, the gas company, AT&T, and all that, they, they've come out here, they marked everything, there's nothing on that side. They didn't even mark anything in my yard because they it was like, over there, um, there's nothing. Uh, we just gotta mark on the neighbor's yard. And at and just sent me an email saying there's nothing over here for me to worry about. So, bugs? Ew. Disgusting. But yeah, we don't have to worry about any of that. So I'm just trying to get somebody to come out here and do it now. And it's just going to be a smaller pond or whatever. I haven't done all the measurements because I, I was worried about doing the measurements and something coming up. So I'm going to do the measurements hopefully tomorrow too and get a hold of everyone. I'm just excited that it's finally coming. Ew, another bug. My turtles are gonna be excited. I'm sure they are tired of uh, being in their little pools back there. Even though they do love all the extra attention I can give them. I, you know, I take well, some, some of them do. Uh, uh, Don E, the little musk turtle that we had inside for the longest time, the one that got sick and almost died. My wife picked him up today because we found a leech on, what was it, Ralph. Ralph is the, another turtle that we have. He's uh, kind of like Guy, but he's a little bit smaller. We found a leech on his shell. I don't know where the leeches ever come from. I don't know how we get so many leeches around here. But, uh, so we had to check all the turtles. I checked them all, but the musk turtles, they're in the, uh, the pool with Big Bertha the big turtle, the big older turtle we have, which I just call Bertha. Oh, I call her Big Bertha. But uh, I checked all of them, including Bertha. I just didn't check the um, the uh, musk turtles. Because, I mean, they are uh, underneath the rocks most of the time. I don't want to reach my hand in there and grab them from the wrong way and scare them or hurt them and they bite my finger or something and scare the crap out of me. But uh, Donnie, yeah, he bit, my, he bit my wife. My wife picked him up and it was like, and they check you for leeches, and you <laughs> reached over and bit her right on the finger. And <laughs> this character was so funny because uh, he's uh, a little bit more angry with people because whenever he was sick, how I had to get him to eat was yeah, that I have that little squeezer filled with turtle food. And I had to like poke him here and here or so until he opened his mouth and get you know mad because he thinks that something be messing with him or he just gets mad and I hurry up and squeeze a little bit in his mouth and he'd eat but it was just a long painful path with it and it was honestly I thought I was going to lose him we lost a couple other turtles to the, the disease and I was just worried you know but he pulled through like a champ and you now he's a little bit of a butthole but it's all right and I'm just happy he's alive you know uh, don't give up on your turtles. They are pretty resilient, and you'll have them for years and years. Anyways, uh, we checked all the turtles and stuff like that. I didn't check Guy either. Uh, he was out on his rock, so I just gave him a quick you know, look over, and he's been acting normal. Usually whenever he gets a leech or something, he acts uh, a little bit more grumpy, and he don't like doing stuff. He's been out sunbathing and doing all kinds of stuff, getting worms and stuff out of my fingers. Well, not out of my fingers, but, you know, I'll hold a worm up for him. He'll get up and get it. So he's pretty normal. I gave him a, you know, a quick logo over. I just didn't pick him up or anything because he was out with somebody. So I just gave him a quick look over. You can see everything up near his neck and stuff like that. And it looked okay. He is going to get a look over here in the next day or so. I try to look him over every week. He hasn't got his look over yet. I already looked over all the turtles. And I'm going to have to give him my extra look over because of the leech that we found on Ralph. But his leech was only like on a shell. So... Who knows where it came from? Um, fell off something or fell. I don't know where leeches even come from, honestly. 
I don't know how they get into pools or whatever. I don't know how to really keep them on my pond either whenever we get the pond set up. So I have to get some other kind of fish. We got a... Ooh, sorry. My nose is itchy. We got bluegills, so maybe they'll do better. I don't have very many. I only have like little bluegills in with the babies, obviously. I got a lot of little fish in with the babies. So maybe if whenever they get into the bigger pond, the bigger fish will uh, eat the leeches and stuff like that so we'll see about that but all the turtles are doing really well they're all pretty healthy and uh, Bertha whenever we first got her she was uh, not doing so well at all she was really antisocial and stuff like that and she was sick a little bit not really sick sick but uh, I guess in her older age she just hasn't, hasn't been able to get like a lot of fish and stuff like that. She hasn't been able to eat a lot, so be uh, fed her and stuff like that. And her shell has chunks taken out the front of it, so maybe she got a propeller or just had a rough life. But uh, she's doing a lot better now. Her shell has uh, moss and stuff growing on it, so she looks really healthy. She's going to be on the pond, and I'm just going to be so happy to see all the turtles swimming around and getting her different areas across the pond and stuff like that because I'm gonna have different kind of areas where I don't want to like it more you know lily pads and I'm gonna try to get some cattails too I already got some lily pads the lily pads are gonna take a little bit while to spread but hopefully Big Bertha don't eat them all she likes to eat plants a lot because she's an older turtle I gave her some watermelon today but we used to, I stuck a what is it, a lily pad in there with her whenever I first got her and eventually she just ate it. Ate the whole freaking thing, except for like the root. The root's about that long or so, maybe a little bit longer. And she ate everything but the root. And I put it back in with the, oop, excuse me. Put it back in with the babies and it's starting to grow again now, but hopefully she don't eat all of them. Hopefully uh, I get some stuff in there to where she won't gobble it all down. Okay, that's the update on the turtles and pond and stuff like that. I have been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of The Walking Dead Survivors. And I've been doing um, some stuff with the Fectinator. I am uploading my near-death experience and a Walking Dead Survivors and an Fectinator right now, as we speak. And I'm going to be uploading hopefully more than that tonight, too. I don't really know. I need to, I need to, um edit a big bunch a whole crap ton of the walking dead and stuff i've been doing a lot because the strongest survivor is a i don't know what you call it it's just uh it's something new that's on the walking dead survivors right now it's just this little thing where you go on there and you do it and it's like a rank thing you know it's a challenge whatever you want to call it challenge task not really a task. It's got, it's a challenge full of tasks. There you go. You get to take down walkers and do whatever. But anyways, I've been doing a lot of Walking Dead because of that. And I'm just trying to do really good on that to show you guys and everything. I don't want to miss out. Well, hi, um, everyone. Here is Rudy. To annoy me as usual. But I've been trying to do a lot of stuff with that. I have not done the dogs video yet. They, uh probably mad at me because I told him we'd be doing it soon but I won't they're always mad about something get off me Rudy and I did not do the face paint video obviously because my wife did not want me to do it at all she would have been completely embarrassed but that's okay it's okay I'll do another face paint one some other time Rudy I'm gonna stand up you're annoying crap out of me now he bites me and stuff and I'm in boxers sitting out on the porch I don't want him rubbing up against me and scratching me and um Another thing before I forget, uh, Indiana's put out this thing to where uh, you need to take down your bird feeders or some, something like that. Birds are getting sick. Uh, Cardinals and Blue Jays, I believe. So if you haven't heard that, uh, maybe look it up. And if you, you know, don't believe me or whatever, and take down your bird feeders, I guess they're a big bunch of getting sick and they don't know what it's from. So we took down our bird feeders today too. And we just did some outside work. Uh, I know this is gonna be a longer video anyways. I have a lot to tell you, so I didn't show you guys everything we did because it was just mown grass and we took down the bird feeders and I chopped up some plants we had over here. 
they are these big old flowers they um, they grow really big and I have to transplant them next year so I went ahead and chopped them down so they can regrow next year I, I usually hit them with the lawnmower at the end of every summer so they'll, they'll grow back don't worry so <laughs> I'm gonna run out of breath but yeah we got the turtles I got the games and update on the videos pretty much it I'll uh, talk to you guys in another one. I really appreciate you guys. Peace.